May 17th, 1943. I hear you're coming up to Q this weekend. And I wanted to know if we could talk. In private. Could you arrange it? Yes. Yes, I can. What can I do for you, Henry? For me? You madre. I don't understand. I wanted you to be the first to know, Alice. I'm dropping out of the appeal. You're what? I'm bailing out, Essa. Dropping out of the case, see? Henry, you can't. Why can't I? Because you'll destroy our whole case. If we don't present a united front, how can we ask the public to support us? That's your problem. I never asked for their support. Just count me out. Henry, please, think about what you're saying. If you drop out, the rest of the boys will probably go with you. How can you even think of dropping out of the appeal? What about George and all the other people who have put in all their time and money throughout the past few months? You can't quit on them. Oh yeah? Just watch me. Why didn't you tell me before? Why didn't you ask me? I never asked you to start a defense committee for me, or a newspaper, or a fundraising drive, and all that other shit. I don't need defending, Asa. I can take care of myself. But what about the trial? The sentence? They gave you life imprisonment? It's my life. Henry, honestly, are you kidding me? You think so? But you've seen me coming and going, speaking for you, writing to you, traveling up and down the state. You must have known I was doing it for you. Nothing's come before my attachment, my commitment to this case. My boys are everything to me. My boys? My boys! What the hell are we, your personal property? Well, let me set you straight, lady. I'm not your boy. You knew I never meant it that way. You think I haven't seen through your bullshit? Always so concerned. Come on, boys. Speak out, boys. Stand up for your people. Will you leave my people out of this? Can't you understand that? No, I can't understand that. You're, you're just using Mexicans to play politics. Henry, that's the worst thing anyone has ever said to me. Who are you going to help next? The colored people? No, as a matter of fact, I've already helped the colored people. Where are you going to go next? The gas chambers? What the hell do you care? I don't! Then get the hell out of here! You think you're the only one who doesn't want to be bothered? You should try working in this week at Lagoon Defense Office for a few months. All the haggling, sense of no commitment. They're coming at me from all sides. You're too sentimental and emotional about this, Alice. You're too cold-hearted about this, Alice. You're taking money and giving it to the lawyers while all the families go hungry. Well, if that's the way they feel about me, then to hell with them. I hate their language. I hate their enchiladas, and I hate their stupid mariachi music. <laughs> okay, now you sound like you mean it. I do. Now we're talking straight. I guess I have been sounding like some square patty chick, but you haven't exactly been Mr. Cool yourself. Essay. So let's say we're even Steven? Fair enough. Well now. Why don't we bury the hatchet? Can I tell George you'll go on with the appeal? Yeah. I know there are a lot of people that are trying and willing to help us. People like George. And you. Well, the next time you see them, tell them Hank Rayner sends his thanks. Why don't you tell him? You getting smart with me again? Okay. If you write an article, and I know you can, we'll publish it in the people's world. What do you say? Charlie. Hey. Say, do you think we could write each other outside the newsletter? Sure. Then it's a deal. You know, Henry, I'm glad we're going to be communicating. I think we're going to be very good friends. You think so? I know so. Time, miss. I gotta go. Think about the article, okay? Yay! We did it. My life. Pause.
can't Shelby. pause. Go. Has it been a couple seconds? No. Okay. Now it has. No. Seconds, wait a couple Yay. seconds. Go. Oh, <laughs> There's a fly in front of me. But you've seen me coming and going. Words are fun, okay. Uh, why don't we bury the hatchet? You and I. Uh, <laughs>